In this video, we're going to be taking a look at two scenarios where we have current carrying wires that are either sending current in the same direction or the opposite direction. And first, we're going to analyze the magnetic fields and the forces to see if they attract or repel one another. And then secondly, we're going to calculate what exactly that force is with some exact values that we have right over here. So first of all, let's take a look at what happens with the magnetic field. So if we're using the right hand rule for a current carrying wire, we're going to have our thumb moving upwards on the screen. And then our right hand is going to have our fingers wrap around the wire. So for our black wire, the way that it is affecting our blue wire, our fingers would be going into the screen here and it would be feeling a magnetic field that is pushing inwards. And then on the other side of the wire, um, your fingers are going to be wrapping around and coming out of the screen. So it would be outwards on this side. Okay, I'm not going to draw those because it might be a little too cluttered or confusing. So we just want to see how the black wire is affecting the blue wire. So we're just going to put the direction that the blue wire feels. Now we're going to do that the other way around. If we have our thumb going upwards for the blue wire, our fingertips are going to curl into the screen here and then come out this way. So the black wire is going to feel or an experience an outward magnetic field coming out of the screen. Now you want to take a look at each one of these individually. And if you're taking a look at our black wire over here, then if we use our right hand rule where we have our fingertips pointing in the direction of the magnetic field, that would be pointing out of the screen. So our fingertips are going out of the screen, but our thumb is going upwards. So then our palm would be facing to the right. So then it would feel a force to the right. And then for our blue wire, we have our thumb going upwards and then our fingertips going into the screen. So then our palm is going to be facing to the left. So they're both being pulled in towards each other. So they are going to attract. Okay, so let's take a look at our second scenario. Now, this black wire over here is going to be um, having an inward magnetic field on this side of it same reason your thumb is going upwards this way and your fingertips are going into the page here and then out on the left side of it but there's not a wire on the left side of it anyways so we only care about this inward magnetic field and now for the red one it's a little different because our thumb is going to be pointing down so if our thumb is pointing down then our fingers are going to go into the page on this side and then out on this side so our black wire is going to have an inward magnetic field from our red wire. Now let's go ahead and use our right hand rule again to see what kind of forces they're experiencing. So our thumb is going upwards on the screen and our fingertips are going into the screen and then our palm is gonna be facing to the left. And then for our second one, our thumb is going downwards. Our fingertips are going into the screen. So then our palm is gonna be facing to the right. So this one is going to repel. So basically, anytime you have two parallel wires next to each other, if the currents are going the same direction, based on their magnetic fields, they are going to attract one another. And if you have two parallel wires that have currents that are going in opposite directions, they will definitely repel one another. Now let's figure out how much force they're going to be experiencing. We're going to have to use two different formulas. We're going to have to use the magnetic field equals mu naught times current over two pi r. And in addition, we're also gonna to have to use force equals IL cross B. I'll just put ILB there. And what we're gonna do is we are going to use uh, this formula first. So basically what you're doing is you're basically choosing one wire, it doesn't matter which one, and Let's go ahead and put some labels on these and we'll say that we have 20 amps of current for this one, 
40 amps of current for this one. Each of the wires have a length of five meters and then R, their separation distance is 0 0.005 meters. So they're pretty close to each other. So what you're gonna do is pick a wire, doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna pick my 20 amp wire and see the, and solve for the magnetic field for that 20 amp wire by saying the magnetic field equals our constant four pi times 10 to the negative seventh, which is our permeability of free space constant times the current of the wire, 20 amps, divided by two pi times that separation distance. Okay, when we do that, we can get the magnetic field strength, which comes out to eight times 10 to the negative third Teslas. And that is the strength of these black X's, which is the magnetic field that the 40 amp wire is experiencing from the 20 amp wire. Now what we're gonna do is use our second formula because we're trying to figure out how much force they're applying on one another. Um, so the second formula we're gonna use is F equals IL cross B. So the force equals the current. Now it is our 40 amp wire. That is a length of five meters that is experiencing this magnetic field of eight times 10 to the negative three. And then our force comes out to 0 0.16 newtons. Okay, so because every force has an equal and opposite force, um, these are both being pulled inwards towards each other at 0 0.16 newtons. So each of these arrows, if you wanted to put a number next to it, you can say this is 0 0.16 newtons to the left, and this one is 0 0.16 newtons to the right. Okay, and as I said before, it doesn't matter which wire you pick. So say, for example, we started with our 40 amp wire, we could put the 40 here, and then later on we could put the 20 here, and then mathematically it all works out to be the same, and you'll still get 0 0.16 newtons. So I hope that was helpful in helping you understand the direction of the forces in parallel current carrying wires, along with figuring out that exact force that they're experiencing. Thank you for watching and listening.